Hey guys, this is Nabil, and this is actually my first video that I'm planning on posting on YouTube. So hopefully it will help others, because honestly I couldn't find anything decent and anything helpful as far as this airbag light. Uh, this is a 2004 Honda Accord two doors V6 EX model. I don't think it really matters um, as far as the sub model or trim of the. Uh, Honda, but I think this applies for any 2004 to 2007 Honda Accords. Anyways, I'm getting an airbag. I've checked everything that I can think of. Um, all of a sudden, it start uh, showing up. Uh, as you guys can see, um, the airbag right here. Um, and let me demonstrate demonstrate how this error code shows up plug the key in and I turn the switch on and I start the key it goes away and then it comes back and if you give it a couple of seconds the light will come back uh, it's taking a little longer than usual but eventually it'll come back so um, so what I've noticed is um, the flasher light works but the airbag lights does not work whenever someone on the seat or off the seat this light does not work and normally when you turn the car on this light should come on and it should show off and it was not showing anything when the car is first turned on. I'm gonna try that again. So if I turn the switch on, no lights. And the light should come on and it should go away. Again, if you just give it a little bit, the light, the airbag light will come on. For some reason it's taking longer than usual, of course, because I'm recording. But it will come on as soon as I start driving and um, uh, use the car, it will come on. So what I've noticed um, after I did the scan uh, using my airbag light, I saw a code of 92-20. And let me go ahead and hook up my machine and uh, show you guys the code that I'm getting. So I showed you guys the code I'm getting on a picture, uh, it's right uh, on this video and um, it's, it's basically talks about some kind of ground or connection problem with the airbag on the passenger side. So after digging I've checked the buckle on both sides, um, all checked out to be okay, um, my, my airbags uh, on the driver's side and passenger's side are not deployed, so that's good. Uh, I've checked my sensors on, on the car, the airbag sensors, and then the sensors under the seat. All looks fine um, until I kind of track down that uh, connectivity problems, and it turned out to be this switch right here. And I'm going to show you guys how you can take how you can take this switch and replace it really quick and what I've actually used I've used um, this piece right here that's got a hook and I actually got this from another car uh, where this this is actually the piece that holds the battery in a place um, in, a, in a car I like it because it's got that hook and it's, it makes it really easy for me to pull the vent um, piece here and basically what I need to do is plug this notice how this has got a hook just plug this in and then twist it and hold it from inside and then pull and let me give it one more try actually it did it did crack open not crack broken but I mean it, it did open um, and let me let me actually try one more time it's kind of hard to hold the phone um, and 
and record at the same time because I'm using my phone to record this. I just thought I would record this um, for those that are struggling with this light. And again, just pull. And there you go. So after I pull this, it's got a wire and it's got a harness. And let me show you this harness right there. I need to unplug that. There you go, it's unplugged. And then it's got little pins on the side of this switch that I can push and then it will come out. Very easy to actually get it out. Um, and just uh, hold the phone with my other. And there you go. So this is the piece that is bad. This is what's causing my airbag light to come on. And notice how this airbag actually is on right now. And this is the problem. Notice how on the switch here, there is a little screen and it's got the word off. And that off should comes on as soon as you switch the car on. If it doesn't come on, then you got a problem with this airbag switch. So um, this needs to be replaced. And this is actually that part number in case you're looking for a replacement. And um, I don't know if it's got any. And there's another number here that I want to make sure that you guys get while I'm recording this. And let's see anything on the side here, nothing. And nope, nothing. But this is the switch that's causing the airbag light. So I went and, and got me a, a used one from um, the junkyard. And actually it looks slightly different uh, as far as the colors, but it's actually the same. So I mean, this one is black, this one is kind of like a light blue, but I got it from another Honda. I think it's gonna fit and we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it a try and see what happens so this is the one that i got so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in okay and uh, put the harness back in once you hear the click and then you just gotta be careful when you Put this back in place there are holes where each pins goes inside to and they want to make sure that you don't break or crack any of these pins it's um, so you put it on this you put it sideways uh, you put it on the side and then you sl start sliding this in as you push inside and then that's and just kind of tap on it slowly and there you go once you hear the click you should be good to go it's back in place um, now notice that my flasher light works just like it did with a old bad piece uh, but notice how when I turn the car off now and turn my car back on notice how this light comes on there you go the light did come on that means it's working if this light doesn't come on, you will get 92-20 airbag code. Notice nothing on my dash. Start the car. The light will come on. Oh, actually, uh, it did already and then it disappeared. But let's try one more time. So, yeah, the light will come on again. So, yeah, let me turn the car off turn the car back on and both lights this light and the airbag will go off around the same time there you go and nothing will come back on again so 92-20 almost 99 almost 100 percent which is about 99.9 percent .9 euro problem is connectivity or something ground or this switch and in my case, it's a switch, and I think 99% of the times it's gonna be switch problem, just like I 
showed you again this is a Honda 2004 and this is my first video I just felt like I needed to share this with some folks that may be struggling with this light um, for quite some time uh, thanks guys and please give it thumbs up uh, thumbs up so I can uh, provide more videos and I do appreciate it thanks folks